everybody. I'm the Picklesworth, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Along with Piggy. Now I'm back over at the town where I said I would go. And look who we've got here. Look who we've got here. I managed to get the horse all the way back, and we've got him trapped right here in the ground so he can't run away because horses love to wander. You, sir, would wander off. I can see you. It, like, look at him. He, mm -hmm. Now he's going to play coy like he doesn't know what I'm talking about. But look, he, you, you're not getting carrots now. I know what you're up to. You want to wander off. You want to go find your friends, whatever it is that horses do. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so and the dogs are still sitting outside they're hanging out so we need to come on guys y'all need to come with me we need to get you back inside back inside where you're safe and sound and out of the rain come on come on let's go so in last episode we we added a whole bunch of roads to the area made it a whole lot easier to navigate and get around sit 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 ubu sit good dog <laughs> And I found a horse, so we can now, a horse, of course. So I got us a horse, so we can wander around here so much quicker and use these roads so much faster, get around town. But we haven't named the horse yet. I'd asked everybody to give me suggestions for names, and I got a lot of them. Got a whole bunch of names that I can't decide. I like so many of them. So what I think I'm going to do is make a redstone contraption. We're going to name a whole bunch of name tags and make it spit one out randomly. And I'm going to keep the others so that if we get any more horses, I can use those names. Because there were a lot of really good ones. So that's one thing we're going to do. And another thing we're going to do is, you Mr. Horse, who is yet to be named, you need a house. You need a place where you can safely be, not a hole in the ground, because this isn't too attractive. Got all these nice builds sitting around here, and a and a burning zombie who's just hanging out, cooking. <laughs> Seems to be indestructible. Cook forever, there you go. Which means there's rotted flesh now on the ground over there. But yep, wag your tail. You need somewhere nice to hang out and somewhere safe where you can't escape, but that we can ride and keep you tucked away like a garage for horses which I guess would be a barn or a horse garage. A horse garage? Is that a thing? So I, I've come up with a design that I like, and what I haven't done is measured the area that I need. I'm suspecting I'm going to be able to put it right here because I think it would be cool. I think it would be nice if we had some kind of structure right here facing this way so we could go inside and get the horse and ride off into the, the sunset which apparently is going to be pretty soon. I better start building. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gather up some materials, go ahead and get this area measured, and we're going to get ourselves a random generator built so that we can get this horse named and get on with today's build. So I'll meet you back over here momentarily. A spruce leaf, birch, oak. That's what I want. Ooh, nice, and I still have some. Sweet. So... Came over here to the tree farm to get some materials. Got myself some oak leaves. I've got fir, fir, spruce. Why do I always call it fir? We're just, it's fir, that's what it is, it's a fir tree. <laughs> it will be apparently from now till eternity. Always get one word stuck in your head and you can't get it out. But I know it seems kind of odd that I would start, you, you know what, come here. You go away, you're next, if you know what's good for you. Because we're going to need those bones. Those bones are going to come in handy. We're going to need those later. Can I pick up the arrow? Apparently not. Can't pick that one up either. But notice this. Doot, 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 doot. Not that, but this. This missing block. Haka! This missing block. You know what? I've got dirt. Let's go and replace it. I remembered that I was having some trouble with the, uh, the ender stopper upper thingy. Not letting endermen move blocks around. And totally forgot about it. And this is what reminded me. <laughs> I see this one random block sitting here. I'm like, I know I didn't do that. And then I saw that. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I, wa I wonder who would have the gumption to pull that stunt. I wonder who would do that when Piggy's back is turned and not watching. Mr. Enderman, who didn't have a command block commanding him to leave the dirt alone. So I've got that fixed, and I think there was one more spot over here. Still really love this build. 
nice little tucked away. I like how for so long it was just an eyesore, and now we've got it looking like a really, really nice little tucked away pond. I just love it. That's what I love about this world is all the builds just make me feel good. So I really like being in this world. But we've got this area marked out. Where was it? It's this. I saw this. There's no way that that's missing. You get in there. So what I did was I went ahead and marked out the area. This is what I like to do sometimes when I'm trying to figure out and get a visualization for where an area is going to, or where a build is going to fit in an area. And because you can do the X, Y, or I guess in Minecraft, it would be the X and Z for some silly reason. Y is vertical when it should be Z. But that's for another time. Um, but the two uh, coordinates, two dimensions... I like to lay out with torches because if I don't like where it is, you can just tear up the torches real quick, keep the same dimensions, and you can move it. And so very quickly, using torches, you can kind of get an idea for where the placement's going to be. Now, I'm still struggling a little bit with this ground not being the same level, but the front is right here. And I want the front to be level with the road. I don't want to build the road up. I'm just thinking I'm going to let the back of the building kind of go into the dirt a little bit. We'll, we'll see if we can work that into it. Just make it look like it fits. Give it a little variety to all these other buildings that are, boom, just flat on the ground. This will have a little split level effect kind of deal going on. But where is it? Oh, it's, it's over in there, isn't it? I've got the stuff to name the horse, but I didn't bring it with me. So we'll leave it over there for now. This is all the materials we're going to need. And I've kind of broken them up. Oh, I didn't break you up properly. Broken them up into uh, some structure blocks. And b yeah, believe it or not, we're going to use some redstone. We're going to use some redstone in a horse stable. Who knew? Who knew horses would like redstone, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down too deep underneath the, uh, the floor level. So I guess we're going to dig down three. Now some of this is going to get backfilled. What I'm doing is just uh, clearing out an area so that I can see where all the redstone's going to go. And then I'll kind of backfill because what we don't want to do is leave a dark spot under here for mobs to be able to, um, to spawn. I know what else I was supposed to get. I needed grass blocks and I just blew through a whole bunch of grass blocks when I've got the silliest of all tools. <laughs> Which will just take us forever. So what I might do, you know what I'm going to do? Let's do this. Let's go over here. We'll get some grass growing. Come here, you. You get placed. You get placed. That There we go. There, a little grass farm. And I'll come back off camera so you don't have to endure watching me use a silk touch pick just to pick up all the grass. What's, what's the deal with that, piggy? I'm going to pick up the grass. Use a rake. Maybe that's what we should do. We should name the pickaxe a rake. <laughs> and just go through here and open all this up. I do like that speed. That's much better than trying to dig grass with it. Because what I want to do... It, oh, it's got silk touch, so we're picking up stone. Awesome. So the reason why we're putting uh, redstone into this build is because I want to have... I like how I have auto gates in this world that let me very quickly just kind of like fly right through the gate it opens and closes for me but the problem is that using pressure plates a horse is going to try to uh, step on that pressure plate and it might accidentally let itself out let's do that and that we'll get rid of that put a, a log on top of it just like that there we go and let's see I'm trying to do this sort of from memory it would be two and then one right there. Because what I want to do is... Uh, oh, I left. Let's go and get all the redstone stuffs. We will grab you and you and you and you and you. I think that's it. And let's go ahead and clear this stuff out. We, I think I've got all the structure blocks I need, so we won't need any more dirt. I do need some redstone dust. Oh, I will need dirt. I will need dirt for one more part. Okay, so... Um, and where did I put the, the buttons? The buttons, of course. Come here, buttons. You go right there to get activated. Is that correct? No, that's not, because see right now, if we do that, it'll open this one gate, and that'll be a little weird, and I didn't want that. 
So you come with me, Mr. Button. We'll put some dirt right here. And buttons on each side of that. Now, right now that doesn't do anything. But it will. Oh, it will. It's going to allow us, even if we're riding the horse, to be able to um, get in and out of this gate without the horse opening and closing it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this right now because the, once these blocks are here, I don't want to really have to... Whoops. Let's soak touch that so we don't lose the pods all. Come here, you. You're coming with me. Thank you very much. And let's do like that. And do I have a shovel? I do. So we're going to turn these into path blocks just because I like the way they look. It can't, kind of makes everything look like... Will that let us do it? No? You can't make path blocks with a fence in the way? Well, come here, fence. You bother me. There. Path blocks for the win. And now you can go back and nobody will know the better. you got to be kidding me. What? <laughs> Had no idea. Okay, well, fine. Uh, let's do this, of course. Horse dirt, of course, for a horse. All the rhyming. So, we're going to make it where we can open and close this without the horse being able to mess it up. That would be great. And just like that. Now the tricky thing is you want to have... I'm going to have these three torches right here and see how they make them open. And then we'll put three more torches right there and that shuts those off and it makes it close. So now we've got a way that if we power these torches, all three of those are going to uh, open at the same time. So we're going to use repeaters to force power into those blocks. I'm going to run a line this way. And this is going to come down right here like that, like that, and there. Okay, and let's see. I think it was... I don't think that it matters as long as this goes in a circle, but that's going to create a comparator clock for us. What happens is we're going to put power into it, which is a strength of 15, and it's going to slowly subtract itself, and when it gets down to zero, it's going to send power on its way. So watch. Oh, you heard a noise, didn't you? Watch as it counts down. See how it shut off? So the reason why we want to do that is when we hit the button, we want the gate to stay open for a while. Watch. It opens up. stays open long enough for us to ride the horse out, and then it shuts. And since we've got a button on both sides, pretty sweet. Isn't that cool? So now all i got to do is backfill this and make sure that we don't cut off any of our signals. Like if I was to place a block right there, see how it shuts that off? So I wouldn't want that. But I'm going to backfill all this so that we don't have any spots for mobs can spawn. Because then we'll have noise underneath our floor. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to backfill that. I'm going to start working on some of this building. And I'll bring you back and show you my progress. You, son, you're going to get dealt with. You're going right back over there where you belong. Now that's starting to look like something. That's starting to look like a build. Check that out. And it, whoop, you. <laughs> I think this works. I kind of like that. It looks like it was built into the back of the ground a little bit. And let's see, where did I put them? Got these, these, and these. Now I'm going to mimic what we did over here. Did we do it over here? I can't remember. No, we didn't there. We mixed and matched that. That's where we did it. We had this really cool wall idea where we mixed and matched um, stairs, oak stairs, with dirt to make it look like it was uh, partially like structurally sound. It's like an upscale dirt hut is what it is. And just kind of going off intuition here. Just whatever, whatever feels right. We're going to spread them out. Put a little, there we go. I was wondering when that grass was going to spread. Oh, I guess I should have used the button, shouldn't I? So there we go. And now we've got a nice little interior going here. Let's go ahead and decorate this interior on camera. Got this, 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 and that. And that is all a mess in my inventory. Well, don't worry, I, I promise I'll use that in just a moment. Um, huh. Maybe here. Oop. Come here, soul sand. Well, we don't have a lot of soul sand anymore. Darn it. <laughs> oh, man. And I can't... Yeah, I think if I put a... Oh, well. Soul sand, you're lost forever. 
RIP Soul Sand. So let's see here. We'll do this. I'm going to put a jack o' lantern here so we have a little bit of source of light, but we'll cover that up. So we got a little bit of this color that, that matches in here, but still some, some brown, so it looks like the ground as well. But now we'll have light inside here. We don't have to worry about mobs spawning in the middle of the night. Figured I would put us uh, a little trough right here so the horse has himself some water. And every horse likes hay. Hey, you. So we'll give him some hay. There we go. And let's see, what else did we have? Was that it for inside? I think so. I think I wanted to put a few vines in here just to add some color. Oh, check that out. Apparently vines don't grow on uh, on, the, on the back of stairs. So that's cool. We can kind of use that to, to control the way the vine grows. Mm-hmm. And I... <laughs> keep going in and out of there and I'm not using my stinking button. Button, get used. There you go. Whoa. Why did that flip backwards? That's weird. Did you get placed the wrong way? Is that what's happening? That's really odd. Let's try this. I think I placed these from here. Nope. Let's turn it around the other way and see what happens. And then close you. There we go. Now, I'd got to have that continuity there or drive ourselves insane. Um, let's get rid of the redstone because I know I'm not going to need that. And let's go ahead and do this because this is the other thing I wanted to do on camera. Um, I think I'm uh, starting to run a little bit short on time, so I think I'll do the, the roof off camera as well. But I went around and made it look like it's a little bit of a worn path going in there, keeping with the mud theme and the dirt theme of this area. And I figured, oh, I guess path blocks don't want to stay put when you when you put shrubbery on top of them. And I, I like this little mix match thing that, that we got going on. It adds a little bit more depth. And I think we can do this. Let's not do that because we don't want to mess up the path block. Maybe like that. So it feels like it's a little bit grown up back here. Got a little bit of uh, uh, overgrown brush going on. Oh, I don't want to lose that, but I do want that so that we've got this kind of look going on. And then let's do like that. And maybe one more in front. Something like this. So that's looking pretty good. That's giving a little bit more color and depth and variety. And then we can start doing stuff like this. Give a little bit of grass. And this is going to give just one more color variation and a little bit more of an effect. And you can see that this area is already starting to look like it's grown in a little bit. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted this back area to look like it was overgrown. Like it's a spot between two buildings and no one's really bothered to go over there and mow the grass. And let's do this right there just so that... There we go. We're getting, getting bone meal happy. Covering everything in bone meal. <laughs> so, darn it. That sun did not stay put, did it? But I'm really liking how this is turning out. This is starting to look really good, and I like where it fits within here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sleep so that we don't get attacked. We don't need to get creeper bombed on something we're building. I'll put the roof on this thing, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to name the horse. We'll name the horse, of course. And you guys are about to go away, although you might drop some bone meal, which would be awesome. So I'm going to sleep, <laughs> and then I'll meet you back over here one more time. All right, everybody. I got the build done. Yeah, but you'll never know because I'm not out there. <laughs> Messing with you as always. Uh, I came in here. I actually did something. Believe it or not, I put away all my stuff. Can you believe that? I put all the junk away that I used to build that I didn't use. So I guess I didn't put away the stuff I used to build. Put away the stuff that I didn't use to build. Yeah, but you know what I mean. I cleaned up the mess so we can have a proper presentation. I found this laying around. So I gotta go put this in the coal building. But here, here are the names. Here are the names for the horses. Now this device can hold the, only hold nine name tags. And I think we've got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have Pepper, Falcor, Trig, Artax, Friday, Shadowfax, Rodeo, and Province. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There's supposed to be one more. Huh. How, how could I forget that? I thought I went through all the names. 
Okay, so that does it. We're gonna have to do this real quick. And I don't even know how to spell this word. There we go. It's always in the last place you look, isn't it? <laughs> so let's do this. This is one more. This one really cracked me up. We can name him May... Mayonnaise? I think that's how you spell it. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like a 1Y. Mayonnaise. Let's try that. And why? Because mayonnaise. Oh, man. Terrible joke, but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Son, you cooperating? Yeah, you're cooperating. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put all these names in a hat. Should have named that dispenser a hat. And what's cool is when we hit that button, one of them's randomly going to come out. So drum roll. And boom. And what's the name? You'll never know and I'll never know because we're not going to look. <laughs> oh, driving everybody crazy. But check this out. That's the build finished. That's the build complete. I really like it. It fits perfectly right in this town. It fits perfectly with the whole miners uh, building area style. Got a nice little spot for the horse to stay. And we've got a way to automate the gate. Just like that. Did it do it again? It did it again. Why? Are you going to cooperate with me? Huh, there it goes. A little bit of a redstone glitch. Okay, so maybe maybe coming out and shutting it. So I just need to leave those alone. That's what it is. But let us find out what the new name of our horse is going to be. So, Province. Cool. I like that. So your your name is going to be Province. If I can figure out how... There you go. What's up, Province? Provincial. I'm going to hop on and ride you on up out of here. Come on, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go with the shovel. There we go. There we go. Sweet. So now, Province, this is your place. And watch. I'm going to right-click on there. I can ride you in there. Hop out. Boop. And you are now safely in your barn horse thing. <laughs> so that's what I want you to do today. That's what I want today's build to be. I want you to build some kind of a cool building for your horse, you can use redstone. You don't have to. You can use this design. You can make up your own design. Remember, the whole point is to play along with Piggy. That looks better. That looks a little more worn in. One more for good measure because we get our green right there. And remember, once you get it built, you can build it in Pocket Edition. You can build it in PC. Uh, it, it, you know console doesn't matter the point is that you're playing minecraft and that you're building cool builds and that you're tweeting them out to me so i can share them i remember which one there we go that'll work i think that'll work i hope it doesn't break it we'll find out that's something else i need to do is get that working but yeah go ahead and take pictures of it tweet it out to me and i will send it out on twitter for everybody else to see you need to get fixed you need to get fixed and we probably need to put a sign over here with a saddle so that everybody knows that this is where the horse stays. This is where province. This is province's province. <laughs> it's very provincial. But I'm going to go tuck away those other name tags if we get any more horses. I want you to build your builds and tweet them out to me, and I will see you in the next episode.